Hello fellow diecasters, welcome to another Insanely Customs episode here on Diecast Insanity. Um, today we're going to be finishing up our Street Creeper. I think we're pretty close to being done. Um, we're going to finish this up, get it all put together and everything, yep. and let you guys take a look at it and see what you think. And then we will announce what our next custom is at the end of this, at the end of the episode. So, uh, first off, first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to paint this little back area back here. We're going to detail this. Um, and I'm going to paint the white part here next to the, the yellow for our headlights. And then Elijah's going to chrome the motor. And then we'll let it sit, and maybe we'll just talk about a few things while it dries. And then we'll start assembling. So let's get the camera down here. I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you guys have found um, anything that you've been hunting for and looking for. There's been some great pics out oh, on yeah. Instagram. If you guys are diecasters on Instagram, they, they've been putting up pictures of the next, what we believe is the next set of car culture uh, haulers. Looks like we're going to be getting the Momo, Transport. the Momo, and the, the, the Snake and Mongoose um, trailers here, is which what it looks like, which would be really sick. See, and we haven't even gotten all the shop trucks, let alone see any of the first bit of Team Transport. Yeah, uh, we're still, our Walmart has not got them in yet, neither has our Target. It's getting kind of depressing. We haven't even got to see them in person yet. We're hoping that we get to see that soon. We know we have a motto of leave some on the pegs for us other collectors. But we got to be honest, if we see any of those haulers and it's the last one on the peg. You lose. Yeah. Because those things are so badass. My three, my four favorites that I want is the Greddy hauler, the Porsche Momo hauler, Snake and Mongoose. I would love to have all of them. My problem is I have no freaking clue where I'm going to put them. Well, hopefully the the move will give you a spot. Yeah, I'm going to have to build myself some shelves and get more plane out of the site. Yeah, so uh hope you guys have been finding it. We're still waiting for the 50 faves as well. Yep. We haven't seen those yet. So we're looking out for them. Um, main lines, I think we're kind of, we're caught up on main lines, I believe. Oh, yeah. Our Walmart is really good about... Main about mainline cars. Yeah. Okay, excuse me, guys. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks bright. So we're caught up there. Um, there's only, I think, two left, I think, that I'm waiting for, really, and that's the, the Chevy um, Silverado. It's the new one that's coming out, and then the Dodge Demon. Oh, yes. I'm still waiting on that. That would be, that would be nice. But That's those, something I, I want. think those are the only two new ones that are coming out left that I want to pick up this year. So everything else that I want is a premium car. Yeah. If memory serves. So we'll be uh, looking out for that. I'm wanting a lot of the and then 50th car anniversary favorites. Yeah. That's going to be a cool set. It is a cool set. On we haven't of, come across any of them. No, on top of what car culture is coming out. These past few years have been really good for Hot Wheels collectors and Hot Wheels in general. I've enjoyed it a lot. Ever since car culture came out, we've definitely gone nuts with Hot Wheel collecting. That's because car cultures, they hit a they hit a home run when they came up with it. Came up with car culture. Oh shoot! 
Now I got paint on me. I'll be back. He got paint on him. So, painting the... There we go. So I think that's going to look cool for headlights, turn signal, and then we got the back done. So let's let that sit for a minute. We'll let that um, dry and then Elijah can chrome the engine and we'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll be good to go there. Um, Mike, well, since we we're almost we we're almost there, we'll announce it right now. We're going to be doing our next custom is going to be another off-road truck, but we're going Matchbox this time. Yeah, and we're going to be redoing a Sonora Shredder. We've already picked the one up, this one here. We're going to strip it, and we're going to be doing a lot of alterations to this, to the casting, to the body itself a little bit. And to the under plastic chassis, and then to the back of the car there as well. So rail riders and uh, a really sick paint yes. job. We're not quite sure what we're going to paint it yet, but uh, we'll start custom work. We're going to start custom work on it. We're going to redo the whole back back here where uh, that old big plastic chunk is right there. Um, I've got some model parts and pieces, and we'll like build a radiator and put a rail rider tire back there. And yeah. The tire we're also putting on it is gonna make yeah, it's this gonna make thing it taller. Huge. It's gonna make it taller, so it's gonna look kind of cool. And uh, we'll get that uh, get that started. How does that look? I think I missed a spot. It's gonna go great looking next to the uh, the. Um, oh shoot! I forgot its name. The sand... Sand blaster. Sand blaster, yeah. Duh. He's okay. It's going to look great next to the sand blaster. Which definitely was one of our best truck customs. <laughs> so, uh... Keep, keep following. Um, go check out the Instagram account. Um... Slot car crazy and diecast insanity. Um, we post some pics of our up the channel, the you know the videos that are up, and uh, uh, we also post random pictures every now and again of uh, some customs that we've done off the channel, um, and a couple other things uh, just to show you something kind of cool that I've been doing on the side. Um, that's one of my cars. Um, I bought. Um, bought this to take the wheels off of for a, for another custom that I showed you guys the uh, Nissan hard body that I did um, I took the wheels off of this and I decided to use this as a detailing project as you can see I detailed the the brush guard and some of the front there and the headlights and I did the the sideboards and kind of detailed the lights and the back of the car and the lights on the top and then I detailed all of the the goodies inside the uh, rack there. So I'm going to be finishing this up here. I'm going to throw a set of wheels on this and call it done. thought this was just a neat little detailing custom to kind of uh, boost my detailing ability a little bit. Give me some practice on detailing and stuff. Um, I'm going to be starting a couple other off-channel customs here soon. So I'll let you guys uh, I'll be putting photos up on the Instagram account of that as well. There's a Mustang that I want to do. i got to find the right... Um, motor to go in it right now but uh i may have already found it i just got to tear the car apart um but i also but i think i could find it too i wanted to get the engine out of that um the twin honda and i thought we had one but we don't but it's in that new honda set at walmart so if i can pick it up there the engine that i really really want is in it so i want to do something really cool kind of something uh very uh what's the mustang or the drifter guy's name unicorn. a great unicorn uh idea you want to put a honda and a ford, ford. 
So uh, I want to do that, and I'll show you guys that. Um, I think you can do that without touching the front of the back. Oh. Okay. So he's going to chrome that up. Get the windows back in this thing. Whoop. That's it. Drop the body. Good thing it's a. Good thing it was not painted. painted. Yeah, or we'd be screwed right there. We'd have screwed the pooch right there. So we'll do some assembly here in a minute. Let Elijah. Is he gonna get down in there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This side. So we'll have him. As you can see, he's. Chrome in the top half of the engine here. Get that all done up. There we go. Should be good. Covered nice and well. Got a tiny bit on the top, but that's fine. It'll be all right. So we'll let that sit and dry for a few seconds here. We don't want to don't want to mess it up when we're doing some assembly here. So uh, we're gonna let that dry, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be back in a few moments here. So we're gonna let that dry, and then we'll come back. All right, we're back. We're gonna start assembling. We're gonna try to put this beauty together. Okay. So first. Oh, it's over there. Let's glue. I think this will fit like a sole. Like a sole. Excuse me, guys. Glue on the injector here, or the intake. Do our best to get this thing to go straight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My flub. There's no way we were going to get that. Through the, oh, through the, the. There we go. We're good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, now, can I keep dropping it? Let's put the chassis back on here. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks great. Show the camera. There's the back, and there's the front. Now, let's. Put a little, I'm gonna put a little glue down here to help facilitate. Patience. An easy movement is key. Goes into meditation. He's okay, folks. Maybe. Perfect. You got it. That is perfect. Or not? Yes? No? Maybe so. This was definitely our most ambitious custom to date. And it came out wonderful. I'm saying all this before we actually called it, but you know, it is what it is. Go get the drink table. 
Okay. Next time we do video, we're taking that down. So, what does every... Oh, hey, get back here. She's trying to run away. What does everybody think of our version of the Street Creeper? Beautiful, gorgeous. My opinion, of course. Alright, I think it turned out really cool. That is top right on the street. Pretty, pretty sweet. Looks so much better than its previous self. So, really, really cool. Really, really neat. I like it. I think it looks like a street rod. Looks like something somebody would do. Really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom. It took us a little while to get done, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, jot off on our next custom project here soon. We don't know when we're going to start it, but uh, we'll uh, get that one underway. Elijah seems to think we may need to take a little break, but uh, we'll, we'll play it by ear, yep. see how it goes. But uh, I hope you guys love that car. I hope you guys like the custom. I hope it gave you guys some ideas for a custom maybe that you want to do. Yeah. And uh, hope this gave you in some inspiration. Some, some inspiration. Thank you. Yes. Um, go out and try a custom. It's really a lot of fun. You can really do a lot of neat things with certain things, with certain cars, and do certain things and cut them up and combine cars and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it's fun. It's, it gives you a th to think about something. It's kind of yeah. a neat way to do a car that you would like to see out on the street yourself. So, uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, next week will be bi-weekly featured car. I think it's mine. So I will be doing that. Um, there may be, um, we still need to do a Euro Speed um, review, so be on the yes, lookout for that. Be doing that um, and then I uh, might have a, uh, a uh, Hot Wheels Therapy episode. I think I got a couple ideas in my head for that. And uh, a couple other things. So I hope you guys are, are finding what you're looking for. And remember, leave some on the pegs for us other collectors. Because everybody else wants these cars too. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'll throw a little notation up here on this side for you guys to subscribe. And I'll put up the last two videos for the, the custom here on the other side in case you guys missed the other work we did. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. We're out. Hope you guys have a great week. And we're out of here. Bye.